Hey guys and gals and non-binary pals, it's me, OC. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be yapping this whole video. Look, I've been playing Splatoon since basically day one. I have a lot of experience and knowledge about the series, both positive and negative. Mainly negative, but regardless, Splatoon is a really good series and it should be respected way more than it already is. So when I heard that there was a PlayStation Splatoon-like game coming out called Foam Stars, unlike most of the community, I was unironically excited for it. Then I saw the trailer. It's a Square Enix game. The game hasn't even came out yet and it's already struggling. Let me explain. Square Enix are great developers when it comes to single player games and RPGs. The moment they step out of that light, shit like this happens. And yeah, in the world of video games, miracles can and do happen. So I'm not gonna jump the gun yet. Actually, on the bright side, the music sounds great, the aesthetic looks nice, the visuals need a little bit of work, but you know, wasn't too bad in my opinion. Then I looked at the character design and they looked a little bit too distinct from one another. The characters look like they can't be custom- oh god damn it. If you guys thought the battle royale genre from like 2017 to 2021 was bad, we still haven't recovered from the overused 2014 to 2019 hero shooter genre. Don't believe me? Alright, games like Overwatch, Paladins, Battleborn, Rogue Company, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and now you want to make a Splatoon hero shooter? Foam Stars is just Splatoon, but catering towards Valorant e-boys and e-girls. And the weirdest part is, this can work. But after looking at this trailer, this game just screamed free to play with horrible, horrendous microtransactions. And yeah, I would consider it to be Strike 3, right? But on the bright side, it's not free. And I actually like the fact that this game isn't free. Because in theory, the game should be better designed, right? <laughs> But again, like I said, the game still isn't out yet, so everything can be dism- Oh, come on! Immediately after writing this video, I found out that Foam Stars flat out admitted to using AI for their album cover art, which completely defeats the whole point of album cover art, and I'll explain why. Very few games have the same attention to detail that Splatoon has. The only other games I can think that even come close to that is the Yakuza franchise and Ultra Kill. Especially Ultra Kill. So much so that in both an Ultra Kill and Splatoon, almost every single thing that you see in-game has a canonical explanation as to why it happened. For example, the reason why V1 can canonically throw coins out of nowhere is because it is taking the iron out of the blood it consumes to make the coins. Another example is the reason why the game's graphics look quote unquote dog shit is because that is how V1 canonically sees everything. You are playing the game in his perspective, literally. Or in the case of Splatoon, every single song has an in-universe band or music idol that has created the music. So much detail has been put into them alone that they even have their own lives to deal with. Outside of gameplay, Splatoon's strongest strength is its art direction and its art expression. So for Foam Stars to try to create the same attention to detail using AI completely misses the mark. And the worst part is that it makes your whole product look lazy. Ever since I saw the trailer, I've seen a lot of people say that Foam Stars is just Splatoon for straight people and to be honest I disagree I don't think that really describes foam stars enough foam stars is Splatoon but under a corporate lens foam stars to me is a bunch of suits in a conference call looking at Splatoon and basically saying how can we do that but yet miss every single detail of what made Splatoon Splatoon basically I'm not even joking when I say this kind of like the cogs from Toontown online <laughs> And I can even back this up even more when Square Enix said, hey, please do not compare us to Splatoon. Which, on a surface level, okay, yeah, that makes sense, but let me tell you something. 
In the past year, you've had games like Pizza Tower, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, Hi-Fi Rush, and Vertical 2, and you want to know something about all of those games. All of those games are heavily inspired by another game, and they wear it on their sleeve. They fully embraced that shit, some more than others, and they all had different ways on how to do it. Hi-Fi Rush wanted to coexist with it, Pizza Tower and Bomb Rush Cyberfunk wanted to take the still burning torch of their predecessor's corpse to keep the light shining, and Vertigo wanted to subverse the idea entirely. And again, they all used it to their advantage. So I have one question for you, Squeenix. Why won't you? It would severely help you in the long run. And guess what? It's not a bad thing. Look at Splatoon themselves. You should really go watch that video, by the way. But because Foamstash is making an active effort to not be associated with Splatoon at all, the devs look like they're either stealing at worst or flat out ashamed of their product at best. And let me tell you something. If you don't look like you care about your product, then why should I? I mean, for fuck's sake, even Pal World looks like they're trying. You don't. Actually, should I even make a Pal World video? Honestly, comment below if I should. I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> to further explain the idea of how I feel like Foam Star has completely missed the mark, let me tell you a true story. I have been playing Splatoon since day one. Actually, no, scratch that. Since Splatoon 1's beta, over the course of the series, I have tried to get countless people to play the game. Whether that be friends, family, my own girlfriend, you should watch the video too, by the way. And most of them didn't like it slash didn't stick to it for countless reasons. Which is fine. But there's one thing in common that they all said to me. And that was, there was too much visual clutter. I can't tell what's happening. These are coming from people that are new to the series or have never played Splatoon before me, by the way. So to hear Splatoon veterans such as myself, content creators, and competitive players say the exact same thing about Foam Stars is a problem. Remember, this community almost killed itself over the existence of Splatter Color Screen. Now we're getting an entire game built around it? My eyes! Ah! The pain! All right, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I want this game to succeed. I want to see this game and improve. And most importantly, I want this game to live for more than six months. Hell, throughout all of 2023, Splatoon 3 could barely keep itself alive. All Foam Stars needs to keep itself up afloat is good stick controls, good map design, and then genuinely cater to the community, oh yeah, and also move AI, and most of the Splatoon community would be gone in a heartbeat until Side Order comes back, but we don't talk about that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that Foam Stars has a lot of cards against it. And I mean a lot of cards. Like, Yugi about to come in. And it's really a shame because I feel like the turf shooter genre, is that a thing people say? Turf shooter? I don't know. Anyway, I really like the idea of there being more turf shooters out there. Not because I hate Splatoon or I'm getting bored of it, but because there is a lot of variety in this type of genre that we can go along. But from the way I see it, Foam Stars just isn't it. Foam Stars may be to Splatoon, the same way Anthem was to Destiny. Remember that game? I pre-ordered that game. I deserve mental compensation. But hey, what do I know? The game isn't even out yet. And because of that, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. What are your thoughts on Foam Stars? Do you like the concept of it? Do you think this game will even be fun? Do you even think this game could be a quote unquote Splatoon killer? Let me know down in the comments. Check out my socials if you want. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one. Drink some water. My name's OC. I'm out.